Hi friends, good evening. So in today's video, we'll discuss about Nifty and Bank Nifty analysis for the coming two trading sessions, which includes tomorrow's weekly expiry. Now, after many days, we have seen some, you know, uh, big fall in the market. So will it continue or will market reverse? Let's go and dive into it using our GAN and ASTRO, uh, you know, uh, techniques. So first thing is, <coughs> Uh, let's dive into George Bear's book. So this is the book, trend book on uh, George Bear book, handbook on trend determination. Rule number 32 says Venus heliocentric declination reaching an extreme beyond this. So what he's saying is this book was written all the way in 1940. We are look over the changes were made when Venus declination heliocentric extreme turning points. They occur anywhere since when we plot Venus declination on the chart, you will see that you know yes and all this stuff and he can see that there can be some nice changes in the market so i've applied this here last last time it happened somewhere here we made an exact top on 1st december and then it happened on 22nd of uh, 23rd of uh, uh, you know uh, december and then we made a small top and small bottom and we had a good counter trend rally also before that it has formed somewhere here again we have a small bottom a counter trend rally uh, when this stopped and when it started again a good rally so generally we tend to see one or two trending days so this is getting uh, activated tomorrow so tomorrow will be a crucial day second thing which is happening is there are two important planets jupiter is conjuncting north node and mars yod saturn these are two important aspects Jupiter has a very very big impact on our market because of bank nifty so first we'll go and check Jupiter I'm selecting here Jupiter conjunct north node now north node is also called Rahu so Jupiter conjunct and Rahu generally tends to create some havoc volatility in the market so let's see what is happening what has happened last and what we can expect now so Jupiter conjunct north node I have applied it 0 plus calculate let's remove one more condition yeah so it is happening again on first which is tomorrow before that when it happened let's squeeze the chart it happened all the way in 2015 somewhere here it has happened let's see what happened somewhere here yeah market just stopped out when this event happened and we had a good fall again there was a top out in two three days we had a good fall so this is a very rare event so you know it is happening so we have to be cautious and the next event which is happening or the next aspect which is happening is mars is forming a 150 degree aspect which is called as a yard aspect uh, this is very very important i um, mean based on my studies so mars is forming a yard aspect with saturn now jupiter is an outer planet saturn is also an outer planet they generally are very important in uh, defining the you know long term trends of the market so let's go and check what this particular aspect has done so it is also forming tomorrow and uh, last time it happened somewhere here so these are uh, you know not so frequent aspects so that is why they carry some special importance yeah see here it happened here and we made a bottom from there market has a good rally and then it happened here again if you see here it made a double bottom and again a good rally so generally again this aspect generally leads to a trending move in the market so base rule with two aspects coming together so we have to be extremely cautious in the market now uh, next part is on the GAN side so yeah so this was the thing 30th may was a 75 degree retracement uh, i've shown this technique before if you start a range we calculate uh, from top and bottom it calculates the range before that it happened on 8th may we made a small bottom and rallied and it happened on 30th may so 30th may uh, and we have broken the bottom so uh, and as per our uh, you know uh, so we have already broken so till this high is not broken so the trend will remain short term bearish and it can see a fall all the way towards 43 142 odd levels uh, where this uh, you know 
the four cross three GAN angle is there. Now let's look at the uh, levels which we are targeting. So first thing is musical octave. Like I was explaining in last video, price is completely getting rejected by double four four six four. And so the next till it is not crossed, there is a high probability it can come down till 43216 in next one week, right? Generally, this you know we have seen a lot of consolidation here, so we can see a uh, fight back or or a fall back towards 43216. Bullish is only about double four four six four. And uh, for Bank Nifty, I think yesterday, yeah, uh, this is the overall returns of Bank Nifty. Now we can see here uh, one, two, three, four months we have been positive. Uh, last time when we have four months positive and generally if we if we are seeing a positive January uh, positive May we generally tend to see a negative June positive negative positive negative positive negative positive uh, yeah this was an exception yeah this is a case where one two three four four months were positive then a negative so we can expect a negative movement in this month based on historical evidence and uh, yeah so and nothing major as such from the price levels like we have to just focus on that and the levels which i'll be watching out for tomorrow's expiry will be uh, this one mm -hmm. yep so uh, basically uh, below 44061 we can move towards 43850 and 43639 and on upside above 44272 is which we are looking at for now let's quickly look for nifty also so nifty uh, first let's look at musical octave uh, yeah so here it is so 18800 it's still open till we are holding towards 18272 or it can keep rotating around these or uh, revolving around these two levels and for nifty uh, let's go to moving averages so strong support at 18325 now whenever a reversal has to start it will always start from a, it will always start from the hourly chart so always put a 20 day moving average on a hourly chart this is one hour chart so till price is below 18586 the trend is on downside and there's a opening it can i mean the opening is still 18452 and below that we'll see further but yeah as of now it looks like this and if i put the master levels also yeah so we have let's go to 15 minutes time frame so this was a strong support area 18493 so once below 18493 then we can see a fall towards 18427 and 18359 and bullish only about this range 18564 for a move towards 18630 see price has been reject getting rejected at 18630 multiple times if you go to a one hour chart only one time we had a closing above it then the market was just so this is a strong red line which is the GAN support zone and uh, apart from that uh, you know yesterday we formed an outside bar which I have mentioned these are the targets for outside bar so basically if we start trading below 18.488 then we can see a fall towards 4.45 and 4.01 now if you are an intraday trader then what you can do here is for tomorrow just go to a 15 minute chart just mark the high and low of the first 15 minutes you will you will get the trend of the day for tomorrow because multiple estro dates are there so i expect that market can see some really uh, the first 15 minutes can guide for the whole day yeah so yeah that's about it a uh, quick video where both gan and uh, you know um, uh, gan and estro cycles are combining uh, let's see how market reacts and uh, let's hope for the best i wish you guys all the best stay disciplined